New one off the list. Keep a oh, second point. I said Jocko's in it last year. Yeah. Oh. 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 I want to see what his reaction is when he scores. I do. He's been fighting the fans all night. So well, let's get straight into it and rate the ground. Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today is Wednesday the 26th of April 2023 and today we're heading off to the Miners Welfare Ground. We've got South Kirkby Colliery versus One World Town in the Sheffield and Elmshire County Senior League Cup quarter final. So we've got some pre and post match analysis as well as the match footage itself. What we'll get up to during the day and because it's a new ground on the channel we're going to rate the ground. So without further ado let's get into the video. So starting with the home team at South Kirkby Colliery, so in the league we're actually 12th out of 14th place, which is fair bottom, however they can't go down because the team who is bottom are a fair few points behind them and they can't catch him with only two games left to play. So the last result was actually a win, it was a 3-0 win against North Garber Colliery, which was the first win in four matches. And tonight's opponents, One Wolf Town, are in the same league as South Kirkby, they're currently in fifth place. So the last result was against the bottom team who can't catch South Kirkby. Kirby and it was an absolute thrashing. It was a 10-0 away win against Ecclesfield Red Rose. So they've now won two games in a row and they're actually unbeaten in four of them games. Three of the four which have been wins including one against tonight's opponents South Kirby. So like I say this is a cup match. It's a quarter final of the Sheffield and Elmshire um, Senior Counties Cup which is the league that these are in. So there's a Prem Division 1 Division 2 with both of these teams being in the Prem. So it's a league for a cup for all the teams in them three leagues. So in the last round, South Kirby Colliery had an 8-0 win against Hepworth uh, United Reserves. And One World Town had a 5-1 away win at Kingsley Boys. So the winner of this has got Hansworth Reserves away in the semi-finals. So with previous results between these teams, like I say, um, one of the three out of four wins for One World were against South Kirby. And that was over two and a half weeks ago. Uh, whether we're at home and won that game by two goals to one. And then earlier in the season at South Kirkby, one well also won that, which they won 1 0. So they've done the league double over them. So I guess the uh, question today is with my score prediction, will one well do the treble over South Kirkby, or will South Kirkby win two games in a row and get one over one well? My prediction is one well are going to do the treble. That's my prediction. I think. We're going to be too strong. Like I say, they're probably my favourite to actually win this cup. Um, and I think we're just going to have too much for South Kirby. I think we'll put up a fight. I don't think it'll be an easy win, but I think one well are just going to be too strong. So I'm going to go with South Kirby Collieries 1, one well Town 3. Anyway, that's enough from me. Let's drive down to South Kirby and see how the game goes. And also, what the setup's like and let's have a look at how we're going to rate the ground and we've arrived new one off the list that's one uh, Mick over there, Rovers fan as well. So Ryan Holland is at Bramall Lane watching Sheffield United versus West Bromwich. Got the red tickets. So as soon as they see that, they'll be. They'll probably get banned, which I yeah. quite enjoy. I was going to say, probably will. Oh no, not getting to be banned a from Rovers. Not to be a killjoy. Or... Oh no, night before was it 13-12? Gold card versus. Underway. Oh. 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 Corner. Oh. I'm not excited for the rest of the Oh, close fight, look at that. End of a cover oh. session where uh, someone died off at some point. Yes! We apologise if these events in this episode have. Oh. Good ball. Yes, yeah, so you've got a <laughs> Yep. Well, no one won't. Got lost bag there, catapult there, big slide. <laughs> That's the big slide up there. Come down! That's the, cat, that's the big slide up there, it looks tiny compared oh, to that. Yeah. Keeps up enough. Oh, oh good, good save. Good 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 oh, it's a good boss. Oh, goal. Did you get it? Yep. That's Jack Grealish. <laughs> some, say, some say it's limited edition. <laughs> Not the goal, I mean the boss. <laughs> he went in the hotel one. Oh. 
I'm fucking swimming in Manfield. I know, you rang me. Edwin Well, they rang me. So, half time was South Kirby Colliery nil at one well town at two. And even though South Kirby have had the chances, one well do look a lot better team. South Kirby did start, they had the better of chances, but one well just. Once they're into it, the um, they look like they were never going to lose. To be honest with you, that first half just so much more quality. The players look a lot, um, a lot more solid. Look like they had a lot more time on the ball and just a lot more professional than uh, South Kirby by the looks of it. But um, the battling in there, South Kirby, and they're still going through it. But one well do look a level above to be fair, despite them being in the same league. You can tell which one a third bottom and which one uh, are currently in fifth place. Uh, but you never know, South Cape could turn it round in the second half. You just never know. But anyway, that's enough from me at half time. Let's get into the second half and see how the match went. So I bet you were expecting to go straight back to the match. Uh, unfortunately, not. Unfortunately, we were a bit late out in the second half and we missed a goal, which was to one well. So by the time the second half starts recording again, it is South Cape McCullough and Neil at one well town at three. So let's get back to the second half. So you see all two having it. Who else is having it? Uh, Not JD. Fix what Mackies are having. Sheffield City instead. Oh, oh, oh. I think that happened to me. Adam Dawson is just my hero, by the way. I do want to see one. He's got a baby. He's got a baby. He's got a baby. Are you telling me that shit? Oh. Same. Same oh. with my dad. Oh. And we come round. One of our friends too. Oh, Charlotte. Oh. What? I don't know, Paul. This is one well town. Yeah, I thought this was one well town. Main. Main, isn't it? That's what I'll get up on now. Oh. Oh, 4-1. Really good, that. Lovely finish. Keep it going down with embarrassment. Yeah, we got it. Yes. I wanted one of them twister wraps from KFC. Sounds good to me. We're, we're a side of popcorn chicken. Sorry, you thought you were flogging. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Has it? Is that, is that why the swimming pools close on Sunday? Because we've been watching the workshop and seen that one. Yeah, I know, I've seen. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, that's a penalty, that's a penalty. penalty. Oh, yeah, keep us taking penalty. I said Jokos, didn't it, last year? <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Oh. Look at him! <laughs> keep us scored a penalty. Full time. Final kick at game as well. So at full time, we finished Southgate with Colliery 1 at one well Town at 5. An interesting end to that game with Keeper taking the penalty with the last kick of the game, but yeah, one more were a class above to be fair. South Kirby did get a goal back to make it 3 1, but you never really felt we were in danger of um, of taking the tie at all. Like I say, they had the chance and they did definitely play better in the second half, but one more were just a lot better though on the day. Just they had a lot more quality and they were only one team who were going to win it really, and that was one more. But anyway, that was that game, a bit of midweek action. First time watching a Sheffield and Elmshire. Um, County Senior League match, so um, yeah, we're interesting um, compared to like because most of the games at this level I've been watching are in the Central Midlands League, so yeah, it's interesting. Um, interesting to see the difference between the two leagues on the same level of the pyramid. But anyway, it's a new ground on the channel, so let's get straight into it and rate the ground. So we'll start off for pre-match, and there wasn't a lot here at all. We did have a clubhouse, which were all right to be fair. Uh, so we had a pint in there before the match. Um, well, we had half it in there and then we took the rest of it out. But but we're all right. Like I say, not some haven't even got a clubhouse at this level. So um, I'll give them props for that. But in all honesty, there was very little to do around here. Um, and like I say, we're comparing this to other um, Step 7s. So like that includes Retford, AFC Bentley, teams like that, uh, Staveley. They're all Step 7s. So basing it on the level it's at. Uh, there were a lot, but we did have a clubhouse, so I'm not going to rate it too low. Uh, we're going to go with 2 out of 5 to start the rating off with pretty much. Next on to catering, and they had no food on offer apart from uh, the crisps and whatever they offered in the uh, clubhouse. So not a lot of options, to be fair, in terms of food or just literally a packet of crisps and some nuts. In terms of drinks, they had your basics like your Carl and your Fosters. Not a great deal of choice. 
price weren't bad. I paid uh, seven pound for two pints uh, for me and my girlfriend. So not too bad. Like I say, if I pay, to be fair, at football, if you're paying under four quid for a pint, you're doing pretty well on prices. And the service were good by the people behind the bars. So yeah, not having a lot of food. Like I say, we went there quite soon after work, hoping to get some food at the ground and. All we could get were a packet of crisps. <laughs> so, unfortunately, like I say, um, no food, not a great selection of drinks. Um, so, we're going to have to go lower, unfortunately, and I'm going to go with one and a half stars. Next up, we've got the ground itself, and I know it's step seven, um, and it's quite low, and we've got floodlights compared to a lot that don't have floodlights, but it weren't a good ground. It was basically... Um, basically a field with very very little around it to be fair uh the one bonus were though that it was free entry like you didn't have to charge to get in and it would dead easy to park and stuff like that but yeah in terms of the ground there were very little there they had one tiny stand behind the goal which looked abandoned to be honest with you so i'm gonna have to go low here i'm gonna once again go with one and a half out of five next up we've got atmosphere and uh, non-league gets no atmosphere very rarely anyway sometimes you do but uh, not a lot. I always just score low on atmosphere, and yeah, there, were, there weren't a lot. There were a few bit of um, two and fourth going between um, a few players, especially the goalkeeper and the fans and stuff like that. Uh, they piped up a bit second half, but um, overall, not a lot. Like I say, I've seen a lot worse at this level, so um, but not great at all. So I'm gonna have to go for a hat trick of one and a half here. So going one and a half and a five for atmosphere. And finally, we're going for overall enjoyment. It was all right. It was a good day out. It were like I say, better than sitting in the house. Free entry as well, which can't really complain it. And I met a few people from Rovers down there who were also down watching. So, yeah, decent decent day, to be fair. Not too bad. I'm going to go straight down middle here because, like I say, I've had a lot more fun at football um, compared to some that have rated three. Um, so I can't give it three stars. I'm going to go straight down middle, and I'm going to go with two and a half out of five. So that gives South Kirby Colliery a total score of 9 out of 25, which puts them joint bottom with Alton Town. However, I'm going to put South Kirby bottom because I thought Alton Town were a bit better. I had more, a bit more fun on the day. So Alton Town are going to go above South Kirby Colliery. But that is it for this video. I'll be back on Saturday. We have Dogs Rovers' final home game of the season against Colchester United. So until then, take care. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I think at the time of recording, I'm two subs away from 7.50, so let's make that happen. Other than that, take care, and I will see you later.